Hey, I think it's recording. How about that? My name's Al Russo, and I've been meaning to do a, a video to update on the bus progress. Um, this is for friends and family, and I kind of uh, executing things on the bucket list bought a bus. This is it. And um, it's a 2002 Bluebird bus, and it was used by Red Cross as a blood collection unit. So it was built originally, uh, sent from Bluebird factory to a coach works where it was made into a, its you know sole purpose in life was to be a blood collection unit. So <clears throat> after it was decommissioned, it looks like it's been through auctions and whatever, and I picked it up on Craigslist for 4,000 bucks. So pretty stupid of me because there's a lot to this that I didn't know. And uh, I share this with you so somebody else might learn from my mistakes. <laughs> uh, this is a front engine bus, which is cool. Um, I thought I bought it because my primary thing is if you look at the wheelbase, it's short. It's 17 feet. And the bus is like 39 feet. Eh, you could call it 40 feet, I guess, on registration. And um, so you should be able to maneuver pretty good with this. And it feels like so far you can. Um, however, with front engine, there's a drive shaft that goes to the back axle, and then you have, um, it has a drive line retarder, it's called. It's a piece of equipment that is like auxiliary braking, much like a jake brake on, you know, triaxle dumps, but it's not engine compression, it's actually sort of like a torque converter attached to the drive line, attached to the drive shaft. So what this does is it um, works hydraulically. It's an Allison five-speed automatic. It's computer controlled, has ECU. I think it's a 3060 series transmission. And it has hydraulic lines that connect to this drive line retarder. And the two of them work synchronously to help slow you down. It looks like a little turn signal arm on the drive, uh, on the steering column and um, helps slow you down so you don't have to use regular braking. And it has air brakes. You're supposed to have a CDL to drive this. I do not have a CDL. So in the state of Connecticut, I'm looking to convert this title to an RV. So that's my next step. So I'll show you inside. And um, I'm in the process of making this, uh, I don't know, kind of make, uh, getting a sense of a mock-up of things to see at you know to scale if you will so um, Cusson Automotive in South Windsor has had the bus for the last year they've redone air brakes they fixed the driveline retarder new exhaust system 40 feet the fuel tank was rusted it was leaking new fuel tank a lot of mechanical stuff was done so now my next step is after I get it um, registered as an RV, that'll be the next step, then I will uh, take the interior and remodel it, in, you know, gut this interior. And now that I'm broke from repairs, I'll be scavenging a lot, I imagine. And, um, and that's okay, you know, this will all evolve a little bit at a time. And, uh, and that's part of the fun of it. So. Um, as you can see in here, it has these sort of like benches that, uh, I don't know, they put patients on to draw blood. And um, I'm hoping this will qualify <laughs> as an RV for the state of Connecticut for their motor vehicle so I can get it done. That would be great. I'm very anxious to gut this thing. But I was just curious, you know, bringing a regular sink and just see what it looks like to scale. And um, I'm envisioning, you know, like a set of, um, how do you say, benches like this in the front, eight feet long, facing each other. Um, you know, you could put table in and have bunks, um, you know, or a bunk, if you will. The middle section would be a kitchen with, you know, stove, sink, refrigerator, there'd be plumbing, there'd be a black water tank, gray tank, 
and fresh water. And so in the back here, there's also a back door, which is for better or worse. I think I kind of like having a back door, but it does take a bit of space. And they had an office back here. Um, they split it and made like two little office things. And I'm just experimenting because this is like the best spot for mechanicals for toilet. I wanted to do a queen size bed back here, but I can't see myself trying to make up a queen size bed. And my wife and I climbing over each other in our old age to try and get to the bathroom. So I thought, well, this back area could make a great, you know, shower, toilet, sink, etc. And I'm just kind of messing around to see what it looks like to scale. And uh, it's a mess. It's dirty in here. So, you know, it is what it is. I started stripping this section here to see what I'm working with. This bus, they um, spray foamed it all. So there's like inch and a half to two inches of spray foam underneath the walls and the ceilings and it looks like they use FRP panels for um, ceiling there used to be rooftop air conditioners that have been removed and um, I'm probably gonna put in vents like you know static screen and put these covers on and that allows it to ventilate and um, there'll be you know fans as well and then probably one rooftop air conditioner and um, <clears throat> I'll be building a bank of batteries and hoping to put solar in here and uh, inverter etc and a little bit at a time it'll all uh, evolve into something uh, something that'll be more functional <laughs> and uh, fun for us my hope is to be able to go out west and see the western part of the United States which I've not really spent any time seeing We've, you know, obviously flown through different points, but not really stopped and seen it and smelled the roses. Visit friends, see national parks. That would be so cool. So that's kind of the dream. And um, so I'm really looking forward. I've had a lot of fun pimping out my Sprinter van work truck into my weekend adventure vehicle as well. So I'm kind of like, this could be fun, pimping out a bus. So... Um, but everything's expensive, man. Tires, everything. When you're in business and you have, you know, the legit business expenses, then, you know, your business can pay for it. But I can't really write this off, <laughs> I don't think. And um, so that's what I've got to work with. And uh, it has an awning. And, you know, I've got to open that awning and see how that... It's probably got a big red cross on it or something. But um, so I have it back down here in this neighborhood to uh, store it and work on it and uh, I'm looking forward to that and uh, <laughs> there are other folks who have businesses here at this lot that I rent and um, and it's kind of cool to get everybody's insight and learn from them as well in their uh, truck endeavors and stuff so that's what I've got for now. Today is uh, May 12th, and it's kind of a rainy, crappy day, and I started to do a little bit yesterday. It was beautiful out, and I'm looking forward to doing more on this project and uh, getting it going. So, so it's back from the mechanical repairs, and now we go to the next step. Big fun. So thanks for checking in, and um, feel free to subscribe, set the little alarm, and I'll give you an update, and um, the little bell, I guess, and um, we'll keep you updated on what's going on with this project, this endeavor, and uh, look forward to catching up with you. God bless. We'll see you later.